Hi guys, this is Jude from EasyTex. In this tutorial, I'll be demonstrating three possible ways to fix the problem of Windows search not working in Windows 10. As you can see here, when I try to run any search on the regular search box, nothing shows up whatsoever but programs and files. Nothing. This problem became more rampant recently after Microsoft released the January 28 updates. Now, this particular issue is related to the integration of Bing Search to the update. So, if you started experiencing this issue after installing the recent Windows updates, then you can follow either the first or second approach in this video to resolve the issue. However, if you are experiencing this issue at any other time after this update period, then you can follow the third method in the video to resolve the issue. And now, without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so the first method is simply to disable Bing search from the registry. To do that, press Windows plus R key to open your run dialog box. Here type in regedit as shown on the screen and hit enter. Hit yes on the user account control. Now in the registry editor, double click on the folder H key current user. Then double click on software. Next, search for the folder Microsoft and double click on it. Then scroll down to the folder Windows and also double click on it. Now in there you will find current version, also double click. Then scroll down to search and double click on it. Then come to this blank area to the right, right click and point to new. Here select the word 32 bit value. In the file name area, type in Bing search enabled as shown on the screen and then hit enter. Now double click on the Bing search enabled entry you just created. Here check that the value data field is set to zero. If not type in zero and hit enter. Then click OK to complete the process. Now restart your PC and check if your search is back to normal. The second method is to simply uninstall the recent Windows updates. Now this method would also work for most other malfunctions you might experience after installing any Windows updates. So you can use this method going forward if at any point in time you install some Windows updates and notice any kind of malfunctioning. To uninstall the recent updates, go to your start menu and click on the gear icon to open your Windows settings. Here click on update and security. Normally, I post my updates for 7 days before installing. This is one way to prevent updates from downloading and installing automatically as soon as they are released. You can press this pause for 7 more days multiple times to add multiples of 7 to the number of days that your update get delayed before installing. You can also click on resume update to resume regular update schedule again. So here I had set my delay to 7 days, that's why I just got my updates installed yesterday. If you want to disable Windows updates completely till you choose to enable it again, I have made another tutorial to help you with that. I will leave the link down in the video description. So to uninstall these updates, click on view update history. And on the page that follows, you have your update history listed according to the dates they were installed. Here as you can see, my most recent update was installed on the 5th of February. And below you have other updates that were installed prior to that. From here you can click on any update to see more detailed information about the update, the release date and the improvements it contains. To uninstall this update from the update history here, click on uninstall updates. And then you have this other installed updates page containing the specific programs and functions that were updated. Here it helps to arrange them by date so it's easier to see what was recently installed. To do that, click twice on this installed on here. Then carefully search for any update that was installed on the 5th of February. Here as you can see, I only have one update that was installed on the 5th of February. It says update for Microsoft Windows KB4534132. And that is the update I want to uninstall. Here I will just double click on it. Hit yes on the dialog box and wait for the uninstallation to complete.
Now, when I try to fix this issue on another PC, here I first selected to restart now. But after restarting, I realized the problem still persisted. And when I checked, I saw that the update was still there. So I had to uninstall it twice before it got uninstalled. So here you can choose restart later. Then refresh the page and check that the update is no longer listed. If it's still there, then uninstall it again. And afterwards, go ahead and restart your PC and then check if your search works normally again. Now this third method is mainly for other situations where your Windows search begins to malfunction. Now this is not related to the recent Windows update. This is mainly for every other situation where you experience a malfunction in your Windows search. Here you first need to check that the search service is active and runs automatically. To do that, right click on the taskbar and click Task Manager. Click on More Details. Click on the Services tab. Click on Open Services. And here you have a list of all the Windows services. You scroll down and search for Windows Search. Under the Status tab, ensure it says Running. If not, right click on it and select Start. Afterwards, double click on it. And in the dialog box that pops up, Check that the startup type says automatic. If not, use the drop down and set it to automatic. Then apply and hit OK. After that, the next thing would be to manually index your search items so Windows can have them ready to display when you search for them. To do that, open your file explorer. Here in the address bar, type in control panel and hit enter. Now this should open up your control panel. In the control panel under view by, use the drop down to set it to large icons. Then from the displayed icons, look for indexing options and click on it. Here click on advanced. And then in the pop-up window, click on the rebuild button. Here it tells you that the process could take some time. The time here depends on how many files need to be indexed and how powerful your computer is. In any case, just hit OK and wait for the process to complete. Afterwards, it will tell you how many items were indexed. You can now restart your computer and check if your search works properly again. Now, if after restarting, your search is still malfunctioning, then you can come back to these indexing options and click on Troubleshoot Search and Indexing. Then here, select the problems you are experiencing with the search and hit Next. Now that would allow the troubleshooter to profile possible solutions for your search problems. And that is it for this tutorial. Hope one of these was able to help you out. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. Share with anyone you think might want to see. Drop us a comment if you have any questions or feedbacks. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for notification on future tech support videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.